Okay, so. One of my friends just got scammed out of their Discord. And this is showing a, a person here, right? It's a contact LinkedIn Discord username, Mike B. You know, their about me is here, the experience they have, you know, all of this information. They've been with Meta, they've been with Tesla, you know, here's their education, and all that information, right? <coughs> and then here is the Discord, right? It has all that information, except for this one piece here. This piece, my friend didn't notice. If this was a Discord, uh, like, mod, right, then this would have been around a lot longer. Like, mine has been around since, like, 2015, and it was already up for a while or whatever, so, like, this would have been much longer, <coughs> and stuff like that. So this is a fake account, okay? This is not the real Mike Bang. This is not a Discord staff member. This is a liar. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to play some voice recordings from him because he didn't want to type because he was so upset. But here. <clears throat> so I asked him what even happened, <clears throat> and the account that he said that he thought he deleted, it didn't delete, because they made him change his email. So when he thought he deleted his other Discord account, it did not delete. So let me make sure this is the right messages. Give me a second. Okay. So what do you do? Don't respond to that. Don't do anything. Weird. He's talking about his other account. What am I supposed to delete that one? And this piece. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's when that person li literally says threatened, banned. And let me turn up the audio. Lock it, delete it, all, all of it. It's not safe anymore. So, at the beginning, a friend named Dark Dragon said that they filed a ticket for, at my account. And that I would, would have to go through a process to revalidate my innocence through someone who claimed to be a staff. So I went through went with it we or or they would ban my account we went deeper through through the email and then it went even darker they went and asked for money i can't i couldn't go through that and it was too late because i already had my email changed for that account so i couldn't do anything to make a new one. I was seriously afraid. So I had to do it. You don't know what so many people can do. How many hackers, scammers. So I had to start it fresh. <coughs> Oh. <clears throat> I can't talk. Give me a second. So, pretty much, it was someone, it's sort of like this, the Steam scam. They come in, and someone that is on your friends list that has been hacked, and they will say, hey, I put in a ticket against you, uh, for whatever fucking reason, even though they're on your friends list, like, you don't know why they would do that. 
uh, and then they pretty much tell you, oh, well, I mean, you can prove your innocence by doing this. It's like, I got someone on Discord staff, right? And so then you can just sit there and be like, okay, well, I'm... A red flag is someone claiming to know Discord staff and having them on hand that second and something about a ticket on your account. Like, I, it's not just sound rude, but it, it takes a lot more than one report to get you banned from an account on Discord. <clears throat> I know this because we, me and some other friends, found someone who was hacking and stuff like that, and we reported him, and he still didn't get his account taken down. So we know it takes away more than just one, or two, or five. But my friend here is... He's like me. You know, if <clears throat> it seems legit enough, you can... You know, get scammed. So, when he saw this, and he clicked on it, and he saw the LinkedIn, and he went to LinkedIn, and he found all this information on it, and everything like that, he was like, okay, this is actual Discord staff. You know, he didn't look into, like, when the membership started. He didn't look to see if maybe there was another one or something like that. And, you know, right here, it says Discord username is Mike B. And this one has Mike B. But that doesn't mean that, you know, multiple people can't have the same name, supposedly. You know, back in the day when people had all the same exact name, just different numbers, etc., etc. <clears throat> if anyone threatens you and claims they are staff, they're not real. A staff member will never threaten you. They will either do it or not do it. Uh, as well as staff will never talk to you on Discord itself. Okay. I have been hacked in the past. And there was no talking on Discord. There was no verification through a screen share on Discord or anything like that. There was only the fucking shit where they did all this not at all sorry i i was reading messages and i got confused um they don't do this they don't talk on discord they never ask for your information they never ask to screen share they never ask you to screen share your personal computer and watch you make a new email and verification information they will contact you through email itself and then that is where they will go they will not talk to you voice to voice. They will not talk to you in any way, shape, or form. If you have had a Discord member, st staff member do that, consider yourself very lucky because I have never been able to get that type of information or help. <clears throat> so, I pretty much told him... That, you know, I, if anyone threatens and claims to be staff and they want to go through an email change and shit, it sh it's, you know, it's very obvious that they're fake. Uh, staff never threatens to delete you uh, if you don't verify. Because, honestly, I'd be banned already myself because I don't have two-way authentication anymore because I don't have cell phone service. So I have no way to two-way authenticate my stuff, you know. Uh, on top of that, I still haven't updated my name. Like, my, my name still has numbers in it. Every time it says, update your Discord, I tell it, fuck off. I'm like, yeah, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. I, I never do it. I, I don't. And, like, you know, when I when I did it, when I asked them for help, it took him over a month to get back to me and to help me. The fact that he had this happening here, you know, he didn't know any better. But uh, for future endeavors, anyone else watching this video, that's a red flag. Um, they, they don't do anything like that, you know, and I even messaged, because this was before uh, I found out anything, I was like, look, you know, 
Uh, if anyone's impersonating staff, that means that person's been hacked, and now they're impersonating staff. If you had any payment information in Discord, shut it down now. If you have a, excuse me, if you had a credit card, cancel it. If you had PayPal on it, you know, disconnect it from the Discord. Like, go into your PayPal payment settings and remove Discord completely, so that way if they try and use your PayPal information, they can't. Uh, I was like, if you've logged into any other devices or browsers, you know, try and pull a token and force a token login and go from there. Uh, but if the hacker knows what he's doing, then he's already forced a token reset, and there's nothing that we can really do. We'd have to wait for Discord. And I was like, the only reason why I know any of this information is because I was hacked. You know, I know how long it takes Discord to, you know, give support. Uh, one of my other friends got hacked recently, too. Um, and he was known for, you know, being able to call out this type of shit. And he didn't even recognize it was, you know, a thing. Like, he had a different hack that hit him. <clears throat> and he's threatening legal action uh, against Discord for allegedly not giving him a timely manner on which to get his account back. Because he sent them screenshots, he sent them information... Uh, he's canceled his credit card. He's done a bunch of stuff. And it's been about a week. And he still hasn't heard back from them. So allegedly. They're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. And allegedly. He is going to take legal action. Like I said all this is alleged. Because I don't know for sure. I'm not there. I'm not involved. I just know what he's telling me. Uh, by word of mouth. <clears throat> so. So thankfully, he didn't send me any links. It was all mainly on Discord call and on screen sharing. I, I had to do all things myself. So, it was through screen share. He, you know, did this. He had the scammer, uh, pretending to be staff, sat there and had him make a whole new account and email verification, did all that on a screen share to try and do everything. And because he did it in a voice call with him, the hacker wrote all the information down and took his account. Okay. Uh, another common hack that you will see in Discord that you need to be aware of especially during the holidays, they really like to hit hard in the holidays, uh, is they will actually try to have a conversation with you. They will sit there and they will talk to you and they'll be like, hey, I developed a new game. Uh, do you want to test it out for me? And then they'll sit there and try and get you to do that. And if you say yes, they'll send you a link. And... They'll be like, oh yeah, and then I also need the tokens or whatever, and like then I'll give you a code or something like that. It's a scam. I don't care if your friend is known for making games, unless you know their voice and they get on a voice call with you and show that it's them. Do not trust any link that they send you. Uh, as well as, I don't know much about making games, but... You know, you can pretty much just look up information, but right there, you can invite testers using a public link, email, or both. So what they do is they go with the public link thing, and they'll claim that it's an actual link to a game that they're doing as a pay as a test, and shit like that, but and a cool way to... Figure out if it's actually your friend, if you don't want a VC, or like you've never heard their voice, is to just ask questions about the game. Like the one person that I thought that almost got me, they almost got me. Because they were talking about it on Discord and they were actually having a conversation with me. 
Uh, the only thing that started to raise red flags for me was because I didn't spell as properly as my friend did. So I started asking questions about the game, and then they just started... That's when their story started falling apart. They kept going back on what the game was about. They couldn't tell me a straight-up answer. Uh, and they just kept pushing and pushing and pushing towards me trying to click the link. And so I was like, you know what? I don't think I'll click the link because this seems oddly like you're trying to scam me. And as far as I recall, you said beforehand you never knew anything about making video games so how is it that you suddenly started making a video game right and then i was blocked <laughs> like there's so many different types of scams but it's usually a fake discord link to something that they think people would like um like most people that hack discord assume it's going to be a guy that they're talking to so they'll send a link to a discord that has like a picture of a chick's butt and they'll be like, oh yeah, free, you know, ass and titty pics or something. I'm like, <laughs> well, now I definitely know you've been hacked because you should know I'm a girl and I have gynophobia. There is no way in hell I'm clicking that fucking link. Uh, they'll have other ones where they're like, hey, you know, I just made this new Discord. And like, you can look at it and it even has like the little picture of like how many members are there, blah, blah, blah. But it always seems off in the link. And even if it doesn't. Don't trust it. Continue talking to the person. Ask them questions about it. Ask them why they've never told you about the Discord before. Ask. It might be annoying to them, but ask them. Ask them something you talked about last week. Just be like, hey, um, so I kind of forgot, but remember what we were talking about last week? Uh, about the, you know, something that you talked about the last time you talked about? Ask them what their name is. Like, I'm pretty sure... Like, if you met him off of a video game, it's like, hey, I, uh, I accidentally deleted you off Steam. Do you mind giving me your friend? Like, do you mind giving me your Steam information again? Anything like that can help them be found out to be scammers. Because you can sit there and be like, dude, I, I accidentally deleted you off of Steam. Because, you know, that's where we met. Uh, do you, do you mind giving me your information again? And they'll be like... Oh yeah, it's this. And if it is the same as a Steam, you know, there's a higher chance that it's actually them. Uh, if they give you a completely different one, it's most likely a hacker. Or you have the ones on Steam that'll be like, hey, I accidentally sent a ticket uh, saying that you're a fraud on your account. You have to help me, you know, remove the ticket and you have to go through this. I don't have to do anything. Okay, there's nothing I can physically do. If you submit a ticket into my account saying that I'm a fraud, you have to go talk to Steam staff, you have to decline it, you have to explain, I did that by accident, I didn't mean to report your account. I can't do anything. And I am not supposed to verify anything. If you fucked up, you have to fix it. I can't do that. I can't go to Steam and be like, hey, someone reported me, it was fake. Anyone can do that even though they were legitimately reported, and keep their account up. So do not trust that. I know my, I know this video is long-winded. I know it's like sitting here almost 20 minutes long. I, I know it's a lot of stuff that I'm yapping about, and I got a little confused in the beginning because I was trying to get the information down. I don't write scripts. I'm sorry. But I just wanted to let people know, since this is a uh, big thing, that someone is impersonating staff. They even have the dude's LinkedIn page attached to their account. Be aware of when the Discord membership has started. Be aware of the fact that all of this wouldn't really be here, okay? Be aware a Discord staff member is not going to go out of their way of their busy day to message you and to get on a voice call with you and watch you make a new email account to verify your old email and to verify who you are. That's what the 2A authentication is for. That's what your email is for. That's what the support is for. They would never do that. They would never ask that of you. So if you have someone coming up to you with this person pretending to be staff or another staff member, do not trust them. 
And the fun part is, is I don't know who the Discord staff is. <laughs> and so I had no idea who this was until my friend got hacked and told me about it. But if anyone claims that they're Discord staff, do not believe them. It's just like in any other game or any other website. If anyone says that they're staff of that website or that game, do not trust it. Because they're not going to contact you personally. You're not that special. You know, they don't have that much time on their hands. Trust me, they're always dealing with countless people being hacked and dealing with shit like this. So if you see someone like this and they claim that they're Discord staff, report them for, you know, impersonating a staff member and block them immediately. Especially if they're already on your friends list. That means they've been hacked and someone's just claiming to be the Discord staff. You have to block them. You have to remove them. You have to report them. Because it's the only way that we can try and help deaden whatever bullshit's happening here. If you do get hacked, remove any and all payment. I would say cancel a credit card. And yeah, it's annoying to pay another like 30 bucks for a new credit card. But would you rather pay $30 for that or hundreds and hundreds of dollars out of your bank account because they're trying to use it to buy Nitro for a bunch of other people and like the other accounts that they've hacked to try and sell the accounts off? Especially if they talk about money getting involved, it's definitely a hacker because they want you to pay them money to give you back your account. And then they can just take it again because they already have all that information and they can just take it back over even though they've given it back to you by just making a new password while you're trying to make a new password like there there's no point it's gone it's dead that's it so just i'm i'm just recording this to put it up on youtube just be aware there are people who are impersonating staff and you know i've had to deal with two different people already being hacked within like, literally a week of each other. If there's any fishy links, even if it's from your most trusted friend, talk to them first. Do not trust it. Like, I've had friends that I've known for six years on Discord, and if they send me a link and it doesn't pop up a picture, or it's not, like, a YouTube video or something like that, I don't fucking trust and I ask them who I am and what's my real name. Because, it, you know, they can sit there and say, like, oh, yeah, you're Mad Max, or, like, oh, yeah, you're... You know, your gamer tag on this game. No, I want you to give me my actual name. Because I know you have it. Tell me that. <laughs> and then once they give it to me, then I click the link. Because I'm like, okay. They actually know my actual name. So that's actually who they say they are. I do not trust anything. Even, like I said, even if I've been friends with them for six years. I don't trust it. And honestly... I would rather annoy them by making them prove who they are to me than sit there and just believe them and then lose my account, you know? So, that's just a little bit of information for you guys. I hope you guys stay safe in this holiday season. I am very sorry that I had to come at you, you know, with all of this information and just drone on and on and on and be very boring with it, but I don't know how to do presentation, I know how to do facts. And these are the facts. So I'm going to go ahead and end the thing here. Uh, I do appreciate it. I do hope you guys take, you know, all this into thought. Uh, tell your friends, I mean, even if you don't want to send them the video because it's like, you know, 23 minutes long, 24 minutes long, don't worry about that. Just take the information that I said, paraphrase it if you can and just let your people know i already need to let everyone in my discord know you do the same tell people this information tell them this it's very important okay do not trust anyone that claims their staff they will contact you through email not through discord stay safe <laughs>